Thank you for joining us on Small Business Insider, where we're going to show you easy ways to save you time and money. Today's video presentation is going to be on how to clean your computer and why it's important. So why is it important? Well, frankly, heat kills computers. The only way to prevent this is to make sure that you have a good airflow going through your computer. Now, the fans inside your computer are designed to maintain that airflow. The problem comes when dust bunnies clog those fans. Once that happens, airflow stops, heat builds up, and components die. Well, now that we know why, let's make it happen. Here's what you're going to need. A can of air, which you can get at any office supply store. A paper clip, which you're going to have to sacrifice to the computer gods. And a screwdriver, a Phillips head preferably. You might need depending on how dirty your computer is, a vacuum or a dust mask. First thing you want to do is make sure that you unplug your computer and make sure you get all the different connections that are on the back. Then you want to bring it to a well-ventilated area. If you have allergies, now would be a great time to put in that dust mask. There's going to be a lot of dust in the air. Let's do a quick rundown of all the different components. The first thing we want to clean out is the CD-ROM drives. Depending on what kind of computer you have, you may have one or two. But they're important to make sure that they're kept clean for a couple of reasons. If they're CD burners, um, writable CDs, you want to make sure they're clean so the data transfer is, is a clean image. Also, you want to make sure that they don't have that dust so they stay cool. Hot CD-ROM drives break faster. Next, we're going to want to make sure we get all of our ports clean. If a port isn't clean, the connection cannot be seated correctly which could cause data loss or data corruption, as well as slow transfer speeds for certain kinds of ports. Also, all of your fans and vents are going to need to be blown out. We can do all this before we even open the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's where you're going to sacrifice that paper clip. Just get a paper clip and unfold it to where you're able to use the thin end and push it in to this very small hole on the CD-ROM drives. Once you do this, it'll push open the CD-ROM drive. From there, you can pull it out. You, if you can't get in there with your finger, you may need to use a screwdriver. But just go ahead and pull it out. It's not going to hurt anything. You need your can of air. And now this is very important. You're going to want to make sure you keep your can of air completely vertical. If it's turned on its side, there's a possibility that the liquid inside, which creates the air, could spray in your computer. And we all know that liquid and computers don't mix. So just again, keeping it straight, you're going to want to spray into the drive. Don't worry if a lot of dust comes out, that's a good thing. Now we're going to flip it around and do the other side. Again, we're going to want to keep the, the can vertical and we're going to blow out all the different ports on the computer. As you can see, we're already starting to get some of those dust bunnies. Now, we're going to want to blow up the fans. Once we start doing this, those fans will start spinning. Don't worry, it's completely normal. Something you'll notice at this point is your can is starting to get cold. That's, again, completely okay. It's just creating more air for you. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up the computer and do the inside. Now as you can see, this is a perfect example of why you need to clean your computer. This here, usually the biggest thing in the center of your computer, is your processor. Well, actually underneath it. This is the heat sink. Again, these need to be cleaned so that your fans can do their job. As you can see, this is all caked up, and so no air is going to get in there. This is your most important piece that you keep clean in your computer. However, all vents and fans should be kept clean. Keep an eye out, some cards have fans on them as well. So look for those when you're blowing out your computer. So we're going to go ahead and start this blowing out process. Again, make sure you keep your can completely vertical.
One of the spots often missed on the computer is in here, which is the power supply. Make sure you want to get this clean. So that's about it. Close up your computer and you're good to go. Now some things to remember. Make sure to not touch any of the computer components. Well, you can, but if you're just cleaning out, there's really no reason to. Second, make sure you keep that can always 100% vertical. If by chance it does get a little sideways, you get a little bit of liquid coming out at the end, don't worry, just let it dry for at least two hours before you plug it in. It'll be okay. Now, for more information and other great insider tips, go to our blog at blog.stonehilltech.com where you can download a PDF of these great show notes. Thank you for watching.